on. There we go. Hello, everybody. How are you? We're recording. Uh, we're on YouTube, uh, on Facebook, and uh, here we go. Uh, as I am, in, I'm kind of loopy today again. What is it with me? I don't know. Maybe Marjorie can explain. Let's admit everybody. Okay, here they come. Uh, there's uh, Marjorie. There's Paul Levin. Uh, there's uh, Charlene Solis is here. And uh, let's see here. Paul Levin. Uh, who else? Uh, oh, uh, Len LaFrisco, Andrew Deutsch, and the ever popular and well known throughout the entire Western world, Edward Berger. Hello. That's Edward. right. That's Hold right. Hold on a second. I, I, I don't. Oh, uh -oh. oh. Uh -oh. No, I can hear. You. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. You're a little green today. You're yeah, I'm. I'm I, I, I did something to my camera, but it's better than the last week. Last week it looked like I was in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'll work on it again this week. See if we can get rid of the green. I just hit my camera. Yeah. Uh, hello to everybody. Um, do I look well today? Yes. Yeah. I do look yes. well. Okay. Every time I stop look at it, myself, Alex, I'm going to say, "Stop it before you even start it." Oh, you thank you. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you, about. mommy. Thank <laughs> you. She never had a child, so she figured she married one, <laughs> and that was her 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 whole thing. No, I was just going to yeah, say, hello, we're going to hear the list. Hello to Paula Levin. <laughs> Hi, Paula. Hello, sweetheart. How you doing? See, she doesn't treat me like a child. <laughs> She also doesn't change your diaper. Huh? She also doesn't change your diaper. That's right. This is true. Now let's see here. Oh, and uh, of course, Andrew Deutsch is here. Hello, Andrew. He's waving hello. And there's Charlie. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Vernon Nunn. I got to join. have him join. Oh, Paula Vernon. Hmm? Yeah. Should I ask him about that? Yeah, because I sent him a note um, on Facebook to tell him to get in touch with you, but who? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I wanted. To, yeah, um, I wanted to ask him uh, um, if there was anything that, that, that he could send me about the that uh, that uh, national popular vote. Enter whatever well, he's right here. He'll be here in a second. Hold on. Ex yeah. Even Wikipedia's got a really good explanation. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, 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 I did look it up, but I thought maybe he he would have something. Um that, it's a great piece some of advice. Um I I my I have a neighbor who's councilman and um I told him about it and he said well, there's no hope for this election coming up, but you know, like, uh, um, if you write something up for me, I can uh, introduce it. Hey, Charlie, can you explain it? Yeah, basically, it's, it's to okay. have. Uh, well, Vernon's right here, but I mean, yeah, it, but he's, it, he's a... enough states agree that they will vote for the one that wins the national popular vote. Their electors will vote for them. No matter what the state votes for. What's the process of getting it started, though? Um, I think you have to go to your. It has to be. Got to be a state, state legislature. legislature that does it. Yeah. Okay. But the state legislatures vote on it. Yeah. And and then instill it. So, for instance, if they did it where you live in Ohio, that means that Ohio's electors, no matter who, what electors won in that state would all vote for the winner of the popular vote. Right. Yeah. They're okay. In, it, what you're doing, in essence, if you get all 50 states to do it, is you're just saying the popular vote now count really counts. Yeah. You know? It should. Well, right. I, you know, it, it sounded promising. I, you know, like I live in a state where, I, you know, I'm not sure that, uh, right, Andrew? I'm not, I'm not sure that it would be of, of any use, but it, it's, it's at least worth doing. No, it would be it would be of use. I mean, our one of our senators who's who's running. He's a, we have a Democrat senator, Sherrod Brown. And he's a good guy. Yeah, and yeah. he he he's one that crosses the line. So he gets he gets people that would normally vote for the R to vote for the D. Right, he's does. he's up for election this this yeah uh, against against election. Bernie Marino, who's just a jackass. I've done business with him. Yeah, well, that doesn't he's, that 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 doesn't uh, prevent this guy from getting in. You mean yeah. to tell me if someone's a jackass, they can't get elected? They can't get elected. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Yeah, what do I do? I, I guess I have to say, if Bernie Marino wants equal time on this program, he's welcome to come on to it and say he's not an asshole. Yeah, well, let me ask you this. How many Americans, if you were to say, we're going to vote for a car dealer for for Senate because they're so trustworthy? You know, it's, <laughs> it's you might as well be a, a guy selling a, a shitty insurance or... I don't know, Bitcoin or some some other. Oh, yeah, Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, there was a, a situation with him. Someone I know considers him to be one of his closest friends, and he gave him a deal to purchase a vehicle for one of his employees. The employee went to the dealership and asked the salesman on his own for a price and it was five thousand dollars cheaper than what he offered his best, his good friend. Wow. What does that say about a guy? I'm shocked. And by, shocked. The, way, that, and by the way, the guy who got five thousand so less than the deal was me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. was, was you? To, I was supposed to go pick up a company car that had been negotiated by the CEO. And I said, What the hell? I'm gonna see if I can do better. And I sat down with the salesperson and I put an offer on the table and said, This is what I'm willing to pay for that car. I got it for five thousand dollars cheaper than what that guy was gonna sell to his friend. So what kind of what kind of person does that to his friends? What's he going to do to us as a senator? Really, uh, exactly. Vernon. Vernon. I had the same thing happen to me, and the guy that owned the dealership was a fraternity brother. There you go. Oh my god! Wow. There you go. Same same concept. Absolutely. Yeah. Last week we had what sixteen people on. 18. Yeah. Eighteen, yeah. 18, yeah. 18 yeah. people. Yeah. And today we I, only have nine. With I, 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 so I texted with Mandy yesterday. Yeah. She was busy last week, and she's on a cruise today. So she said oh, to give. Oh, that's her... terrible! I know. <laughs> the other, and the other eight are out looking for electric cars. So we're good. Oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> yeah. So she I said to she, say hi. I thought she was on a cruise last week, and that's why she yeah. couldn't call. No, she sent me a picture, and it's like oh, it looks nice. Really, being on a cruise. Oh yeah, you know I love cruises. You know me I and me and, Sh me and Shecky used to talk about cruises all the time, man. I love that. Well, I know you love cruises, and Marjorie, uh, Mar Marjorie, who is yet to call a travel agent. I have the name. I'm uh, never going to see be able to use our money for trips. And the name because I'm, for if you want to just travel the country. I'll do two. I'll be dead before you do it. <laughs> you know, I'll I, do it. I booked I'll most do it of my tomorrow. own stuff. I promise. Just remind me. It's mm. on the website of the cruise that you're you're thinking about, like princesscruise.com. You can go to princess.com and book it yourself. Mm. You no, I want to go through a, a one that does the whole thing. Because we're old. Yeah. We're yeah. old. So the we airplane, to get to the airplane. Yeah. We want somebody who's going to arrange everything for us. You know? Yeah. Who yeah. knows what they're doing? Absolutely. Exactly. You know, a wheelchair at the airport, a wheelchair at the destination, a wheelchair on the boat. Yeah. Hello, Albert. I see I came at a very momentous time. A lot of <laughs> important stuff being talked about here. <laughs> this all happened. Albert is a travel agent. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he, but he's a very costly travel agent. Did you know that? <laughs> are, no, you get them their oxygen tanks delivered to the cabins you? On, the, on the ship? No, I'm not a travel agent. Oh, okay. but I play one on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, How are I, you, Albert? I'm good. How's everybody here? Good. Good. I can barely see Charlene. Barely. Ah, oh, there she is. Go. Uh, She's good. sloping out on us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You know, I, I was watching the uh, today. They had the uh, the the uh, we had Marjorie had the trial on. Or what? oh, I gotta go, gotta go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. you like it. We're not talking wait. about the trial. You are though. You just said the what? trial. The Albert Albert taped it so he can watch it later. He doesn't want to know how it. That's comes right. Out. I don't want to know how it. How it goes <laughs> it's not like a football Whoa. game. You pre-taped, okay? <laughs> no, all I was saying is is that after watching this for about an hour with Marjorie, I suddenly realized why Donald Trump is falling asleep. <laughs> well, <laughs> boy, is that... Files, for the stuff. most part, are boring. Oh, I, how about ours? I'm surprised I stayed awake. <laughs> he, he's and pretending we've been going, he, what, 15 years? 
<laughs> he's pretending he's disinterested. Is that what he's doing? That's one theory. I don't know if, if it were me and I had a, a, the possibility of going to jail or, or house arrest even, I'd keep my eyes open for the whole damn thing. Yeah. That's just me, though. Well, yeah, well under house arrest, in Mar -a -Lago, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be so bad. You know, I fall asleep watching TV, so I could. It, 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 TV is more interesting than anything you're going to see in a courtroom. You know, everybody thinks okay, they watch movies and they think that courtrooms are like they are in movies. <laughs> and I'm sorry, they're not. They are deadly dull. I sat on a trial, and it was a it was a grass uh, a marijuana trial, and 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 it was boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if it were a, a trial about coke, maybe you'd stay awake. <laughs> yeah. I, I was on a trial where these guys sold three and a half pounds of methamphetamine to an undercover cop, and that was uh, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, and, and how, they're, they're, how did you? Yeah. Vote? Um, I I was actually the foreman, and I voted guilty along with the other 12, 11 people, and they were in jail. They got put away for twenty two years each, and they were about twenty years old at the time. Whoa. Yeah. See, I could yeah, never. How do, do you that. become a foreman? I could never do that. It, it, um, you vote I, on it between the group. Yeah, yeah, they voted. They voted me in. I don't know why. Yeah, I an honor. I, I thought they usually picked the first guy who was picked on the jury. Now gets to be the foreman. It depends it? on the state. It oh. depends yeah, on maybe the state. I don't know. It was. Uh, it was very interesting. Their their defense was was mental incapacity, and uh, that that just is. It was ridiculous. They knew exactly what they're doing. They had them all on tape. I mean, it was it was ridiculous. Yeah, but still, I don't know if I could be on a jury. Would you have called it a witch hunt? <laughs> <laughs> witch hunt. No, it was a travesty of justice. Okay, a travesty. <laughs> of, that's an, that's another good one. It's travesty of justice. Anyway, no, I mean, I just you know, I just I I, I was supposed to be on a jury. I went to jury duty, you know, and I. Got up there and they did the voir dire, they call it or whatever. Voir dire. Voir dire. Voir dire. Whoever. It's a French word. Screw the French. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, you know, I, I got up. It was a drug uh, deal, uh, and I can't remember what kind of drug. I think it was marijuana, but I may be wrong. I don't remember. It was a drug dealer who was on trial, and I just told the judge, I can't sit in judgment of this. You know, I feel the drugs should be legalized, all drugs, because I think it's a medical problem, not a legal problem. And he said, next. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I t I've told the story before, Steven Soderbergh was on the same jury pool with me. And, and he got up before the judge and he said, uh, I can't uh, uh, do jury duty because I have to be in Cuba because the State Department has given me the okay to make a movie down there. <laughs> and the judge said, okay, you're passed. Let him go. And as I'm leaving the room after being kicked out of there by the judge because I didn't believe drugs should be illegal, Soderbergh looks at me and goes, well, that was a pretty cheap way of getting out. <laughs> and I looked back at him and I said, and yours wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> I was I was supposed to be on jury duty starting today. Really? Yeah. Hey, you I, told me you got out of it because you did it like two, three days shy of two years ago. I had been called for jury duty, so I was within wow. three days of the two year. Watch, they'll send you a letter tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Nope. It's it. They. I talked to them. They said I'm I'm excused, and I go back into the pool to see if I get pulled sometime. But how come you get you thrown back in the pool and all of a sudden it's like uh, they think you're drowning and they throw you out of the pool? What I don't know. You know, all, all I, the names are in the pool and they pull them and then yeah. and because there, there's two different courts in my jurisdiction, there's municipal court and there's the federal court. So but the they only court, hold them for a limited amount of time. Yeah, yeah. So I could get pulled again, but you wish. Yeah. <laughs> If I had to do jury duty, I would do it, but I'm in the middle of a major project, so I'm glad that I was able to get out of it this time. Yeah. Jason McKenney is here. Are you here, Jason? Can you hear me? Turn on your mic. 
turn on your video. Ask to unmute. Because Jason McKinney is somebody that calls the nighttime show. Yeah. I'm getting a little suspicious here because he's pretty good at knowing how to get online. Yeah. So I'm getting... Uh, let's see here. I'm going to get rid of him. Okay. Yep. No second. Remove. But I'm Maybe you're being Zoom bombed. Yeah. Good. Which is illegal, by the way. Oh, we're going to see some good porn. <laughs> no, it was gonna be some never bad. good porn. It's never good porn. It's uh, never it's true. good porn. That's the problem. You know. Um but anyway, what was I saying? So, you know, I mean, I just I just uh I I just don't like the idea of being put in a position where I'm judging another human being. Especially, judging especially a drug case, since I did <laughs> except for heroin, I've done most drugs known to mankind. But that's and, the democratic way, Alex. Yeah. We all have to judge. Majority of his peers. Yeah. Exactly. Or pussy, I have to say. Anybody who does that just to get out, pussy. That's mm -hmm. that's that's what I think. It, because most of the same people say we need justice. We have to have justice in this country. And we and then they say, Well, I'm not going to jury duty. Pussy. That's what I say. Yeah, I like it. Why don't you say dick instead? A dick, okay, dick. Uh, <laughs> a dick also. I'm a dick. By the way, I'm glad McKinney you had the ovaries. Just sent me a over. note. Who? Oh, this is Chris Cat. Okay, here we go. Oh, we like Chris on, yeah. Yeah, I'm Chris is okay, and and actually, he uh, uh, Jason said, uh, I was trying to. Uh, I was just listening to your show from the other day. That was we did a. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. We had to tell him to come back on. Jason is a guy who usually calls our nighttime show. Been calling for the longest time, but only yeah. occasionally. But a uh, nice guy. And Chris Cat, both of you, uh, please um, let us Sign see. Sign in, you. please. Hey. Oh, there hey. we go. There's Chris Cat. How you doing? Right. Fine. Good. You're out there in the parking lot, probably with your electric automobile. Hey, it's pretty funny. close. Much to your wife's delight, I've got a little more discussion about electric cars here. No, oh, um, so the electric cars in the shop. So the electric cars in the shop. It turns out the camera and the camera harness have to be replaced, and among all of the other many computer glitches that occur on today's in today's modern cars. Alex. So they've given me this Ford Bronco loaner just in time for the 30th anniversary of the. OJ Bronco 405 <laughs> float kit. Is it a white it's not Bronco? A white Bronco is it? It's not a white. I asked for the white and they said, lucky dude, we know you. You're lucky to get any car from us, dude. <laughs> okay. uh, we've been watching what you do. So um, let, me, let me ask you a question. A, a camera yeah. harness. I mean, come on. When I bought my first car, nobody even talked about cameras. Okay. Well, and, remember, and I understand that was that. Well, that was the Ford Model T, my friend. This is, this is a little <laughs> something different. No, but or maybe the Ford Model A. I thought you had to yell yabba dabba do and run your feet to make that thing. <laughs> Let me just say, okay, that I heard that you, you, know, you have a Tesla, right? I do not have a Tesla. Oh, you do not have a car. Tesla. You know what? I, I have I have a damn picture of me from ten years ago with Elon Musk, a little selfie, which maybe I'll show you sometime. But but I don't like those cars; they're a little flimsy to me, and I told him so. And uh, here we go. As a result, he, they, he they, kind they, of they, as a result, they, he kind of kicked okay. me out of the company. Okay, they yeah. do look a little flimsy, but they they have something like twelve cameras. Yes, they do, and they have a great charging network. If you're honestly, if you're if you're going to get an electric car and you don't live in one of the cities that has lots of chargers, get a Tesla. What because am I doing it, a commercial for that? Is it is it free to use the Tesla chargers? Um, some for some people who bought during the pandemic, yes, but it isn't. But the chargers work super fast. My charger generally takes me at least an hour, an hour and a half to get to eighty to a hundred percent. And that will get you five miles. Right. So <laughs> it'll get me between. You know what? It'll, it'll get me between 225 miles to 185 miles on a cold day. But fortunately, we don't have cold days in California, unlike uh, you poor folks out on the East Coast. Oh, there. Okay, you're giving Marjorie a headache. Okay. <laughs> okay. Quick.
thing. Well, let's go back to the OJ thing. He's fashioning um, a noose. What about the OJ thing? Oh, because you're <laughs> wrong. We're well, I like to say it's the thirtieth anniversary. So I'm for your for your show next time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate tastefully recreate the moments from the oh, the uh, OJ four hundred five chase for for the delight of your seven viewers. Yes, you and I'm, my stunt girl volunteered to give me a gun to put to my head. Um, <laughs> Can you load um, it? <laughs> well, I don't know, but she did work on a few Alec Baldwin films. Um, oh, to give me a, uh, but at least I think that's what happens. That's what happens when you finish too fast, man. Okay. So, well, Chris, gentlemen, take sure. your time. Take your time, gentlemen, with your lady and don't okay. get her pissed okay, off. Okay, Chris, let's talk to other people here. That's, you got it. Thank you. Yeah. And is Jason there? Jason, are you there? Your your picture you don't, you gotta you gotta turn on your picture. But I don't know what microphone. Happened. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Anyway, um, oh, he can't. He can't. Somehow, he can't get on. Okay. Well, let me just get rid of you there, so you're not taking up a place on the. Uh, okay. Remove. Well, waiting. Oh, it's making him update. Okay, we'll leave him there. Making oh, him update. Anyway. So anyway, how everything good down there in Florida, Albert? I always ask him this question because I suppose I don't. I don't really keep up with things in Florida. Well, that's what we should do with our money. We should go down to Florida, Marjorie, and say hello to Albert. That would be fun. Absolutely. Yeah. This is why you still can. <laughs> Before we close the borders. <laughs> Before the tide rises. It's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, the other day I asked who who's uh, Charlie lives in Texas. Yeah. I asked who's the worst um, uh, governor between the two, Abbott in Texas or DeSantis in Florida, and I think we came up with it. Abbott is worse. Well, DeSantis hadn't pardoned any murderers yet. <laughs> yes, right. Many murderers of a black protester. Yeah. Yeah. So that was wonderful what he did. But anyway, so everything's fine in Florida then. As I know, yeah. Now, didn't you say you were thinking of moving out of Florida eventually? Uh, I think about it all the time. <laughs> Where would you move to, Albert? Not Florida. Huh? <laughs> not Florida, likely not Texas. But where? But where? Um, you know, I have a Swiss passport, so maybe Switzerland. You have it's a, a better democracy over there. How how'd you get yeah. a Swiss passport? My mother was Swiss. Oh, oh, really? I was the child of a Swiss citizen. I am a citizen of Switzerland. Oh, really? Yeah. Say That's something in Swiss country. to us. What? <laughs> Say something in Swiss to us. <laughs> well, it's Ger well. There's actually four languages in Switzerland: uh, uh, right. German, uh, uh, Italian, uh, and two German. others. Yeah, because, because Romance. Romance. Uh, well, Romance is a form of German, so that French. that really is French. not. A, but I can say uh, "Du bist ein Scheißkopf." And what does that mean? That's Yiddish, bro. That means you're a shithead. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's close. German and Yen Yiddish are very close. Was that directed at me, by the way? It's been kind it's of any, anybody who wants. What was it? What was the? Uh, what does it mean again? You're a shithead. Oh, yeah. really? Well, yeah. that's right. I, you know, when you when you learn a language, you learn the bad words first, and then you go on to the prepositions and the. You always learn the bad words first. Yeah. I went to Switzerland when I was in Switzerland. I got very sick. I had had some. Um, um, I, I literally had um, steak tartare in France. Ooh. And I thought it was good because tartare is a French word, right? Uh, and tragically I wound undercooked. Up throwing my guts up. Yeah, okay. Undercooked. And by the time we got to Switzerland in Lake Geneva, and I'm in a hotel room, and all I'm doing is running off to the bathroom to take a you know take a a dump because i'm got diarrhea and it's just incessant and i'm starting to like i guess hallucinate and every time i get through in the bathroom i run back to the bed and lie down and two minutes later i'm up running to the bathroom again 
It was Jesus. really a bad case of the trots that I got from this. It was uh, what do you call it? Uh, Raw like, steak. Food poisoning. It wasn't yeah. food poisoning, but it, was, it starts with a D. What's it called? Uh, uh, dysentery. Huh? Dysentery. 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 Hard to believe you were sick. <laughs> Wait a minute, you people are complaining about my electric car. Please not talk about diarrhea. Anyway, let me finish my story, please. So finally, we decided we better call a doctor for about two days because I'm hallucinating and I'm, you know, because if you don't, if you constantly are evacuating, see how nice I got it with that. Uh, if you are evacuating constantly, um, you. Um, can really it can be very serious it can it's dehydration, dehydration. Yeah. it can cause uh, uh, you know hallucinations things like that so we called a doctor and we called a swiss doctor and he gave me one pill and knocked it out it also knocked me out too but while he was there i was you know i kind of got the idea in talking to him that he was kind of saying to me well i'm swiss but i don't know exactly what that is am i german am i italian you know, because it's got all these surrounding countries that have pay, played into their culture. And there is no Swiss language that we know of. There are four languages. Yeah. Why does there need to be an official language when there are four official languages? Yeah, but suppose you don't speak the other three and you live in Switzerland. You know, if you're growing up there, you'll learn the other three. It'll just become yeah. natural. Most people in Switzerland don't speak more than more than two of the four. Yeah. Gee, yeah, I, I just don't. turned diarrhea into a travelogue. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we, had, I we said, already have said in four or five languages here in California, man. You got people speak to me in Spanish all day. You know, you got Spanish, you got English and Armenian, and it's all happening here anyway. So Armenian don't complain about in California. Armenia, hey, there's oh, Armos yeah. all over the place. You got, I guess you, you have got to go people to the like Yeah, oh, yes, yes. You, you know, I there's more Armenians than Glendale. I understand why you Armenia. think. I understand why you think Armenians are, uh, you know, a basic group in California because you live very near the Kardashians. That's right, but also in in Glendale, there are more Armenians there than there are in Armenia at this point. Do you know how you can identify an Armenian? Uh -oh. No, Alex. How? <laughs> If their name ends in I-A-N. That's right. All Armenian names end in I-A-N. Or or you just ask them, are you from or Turkey? And if they punch you, they're Armenian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what you call somebody who only speaks one language? Oh, they, they, by the way, that's Jason. What? Yes, sir. Yeah. I say, you know what you call somebody who only speaks one language? Monoslavic? American. True, especially if the language is Spanish. Not this one. At least here in California. Well, in California, I, mean, I grew up in California, and I didn't learn any languages that were native. You know, I could speak a modicum of Spanish, but that was only because I went to Spain. And you spend, you know, you spend two weeks in a particular country, and by the time you're through, you speak a little bit of that language. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, that was before California was a state, though, Alex. Come on. Of course, they were speaking English. Yeah, have we have we. That have, was during the Taft administration. Have you, have you had it with enough Alex's old joke? <laughs> uh, really not. Believe me, hey, the fact that I'm our... old, the fact that I'm old is not lost on me. <laughs> no, Alex. I, it, let me tell you something. It's love. It's love, man. It is love. I totally dig you. And I was just looking at um, the new Chicago Seven movie that netflix made a couple years ago and i was thinking about your relationship with with abby hoffman and how you essentially brought the his story to the american people and inspired not only a generation but at least two made two made for tv movies about abby hoffman and i love to hear um you know well, more let, from you let's about give that. credit where credit is due god help me so anyway uh is so that abby hoffman or abby normal <laughs> Well, that was his wife, Abby. Oh, okay. Um, so um, I should have asked, I never do this, because we always always wait to the end to hear from him. But did you do anything interesting last weekend, Edward? I uh, went to the movies because my niece was here. And what did you see? Uh, 
Well, what was it? it? Was voices? Oh, unsung heroes. That's what I said. Oh. Unsung Heroes? It's not when I don't think it's a very popular movie, but that's the one we chose. Really? Yeah. I read about a movie that is, you know, they're doing a con film festival now. And a movie, I'm trying to remember, I forgot the name of it here. Uh, but uh, it is about a, 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 a drug dealer, drug, uh, big drug kingpin in South America, who decides to have a sex change and becomes a woman. <laughs> and then gets very nice and can't kill people. It's it's supposedly and it's a musical, <laughs> <laughs> and it is getting raves at the Cannes Film Festival. Is this for real? And it's a yes, musical it's for real. This is for so real. He went from being a drug kingpin to a queenpin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom! 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 <laughs> But uh, it's a movie. I want to see that movie. And it's, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, what's her name? The woman the son murders and only murders in the building is one of the stars. Oh, Selena Gomez? Or... Yes, yeah, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. Oh, and and most, of the, oh, most of the film's in Spanish. Uh, okay. And, uh, there's one other woman in it, too, that is quite well known. An American actress. And, and uh, it just sounds, and they're raving about it. Just raving about it. Is it played by a man or a woman? Uh, it's played by a, a, a trans woman. It's played by a trans woman? Played by a trans. And oh. about a trans woman. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah, but not trans, a sex change. Complete sex change. Well, oh, that's... oh, look at the doggy. <laughs> that is a is that a setter? That's a no, laugh. It's, it's a double doodle. A double doodle? Double doodle. Golden doodle and labradoodle. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Let's see his face again. Let's see his face again. It's a great dog, isn't it, Marjorie? You're the oh, expert on dog face. face. You see the oh, poodle head on him. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a happy dog. Yeah. Great dog. He's, he has a good life. Must eat you out of house and home though. Oh man, Costco. Huh? Costco. Costco. <laughs> I buy dog food at Costco. He's a Costco dog. Yeah. 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 Actually, I went to Costco and bought dogs at Costco, but you had to get two of them taped together. So it's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Um, and how's everything in Ohio with you, uh, uh, Andrew? I mean, beautiful day. Because you have, you have uh, uh, our good Got friend it? Paula, who lives in Ohio. It is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here and, and in Cleveland. And yeah. Paul and I are going to stretch a string with two soup cans so we can talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Vernon Nunn down there in Kentucky, the Bluegrass State. Yeah, I heard y'all talking about uh, NCVIC when I first logged on there. I guess there was still some curiosity about that. Yeah, oh, no, there's a yeah. curiosity. About National it. popular vote. Well, I mean, we, we, you, I, nobody can figure out why we still have electoral college. Okay. It's in, it's, well, in it's in the Constitution. It's in the Constitution. That's yeah, but why we still, still have it. Agree. There's no need for it. No, that's why you make it moot. The MPVIC makes the electoral college moot. Yeah. Yeah, it can Doesn't still be, it. Can the still be in the... You yeah. don't need an electoral college today. People aren't riding the What he's saying is it's What he's saying is it's in the Constitution, and therefore the only way you can the only get way rid to of get it rid is of by an act of Congress. Amendment. Where, where right. this way, can no, be a constitutional it. amendment. But that'll never happen because the, the exactly, uh, yeah. So exactly. if you do this in every one of the states or in a majority of the states. Then you're pretty much you're making the electoral college moot. It makes yeah. no sense. You yeah. only need about four more states. You only yeah, it's pretty close. States. Yeah, especially some like Pennsylvania. You know, yeah, how good is that? How, there, how, that adds how, sixteen more. How good yeah. does that look? Nah. <laughs> they do not have a current a law pending in Pennsylvania. They do in Michigan. But they don't have one in Pennsylvania right now. And I wrote to the governor saying, "Why aren't you doing this?" Yeah. He's a good guy, the governor, right now. 
Yeah, he's a yep. Democrat. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, the guy in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Get to him before he's no longer the governor of Pennsylvania. He's. I will proudly say that our state of Florida, the legislature, killed it last year. Yeah. Did they really? Won't get our vote. We want the I'll electoral college. Well, anybody with any common sense would not would want to make the uh, electoral college obsolete. I mean, anybody who, around this country, you're talking about common sense. Really? <laughs> well, you got a point sense. there, Albert. Yeah. You always make a lot of common yeah. sense. He's not right. here, Buster. Uh. Uh-uh. Well, the small states that signed on to the con- I'm, I'm avoiding all Alex's old jokes, believe me. Small state, you I know that you weren't not there one. at the time. You were yes. not there at the time, but the small states that signed on to the Constitution wanted to have a little bit more power. That's why they pulled that like, they brought up the senators, but also um, they wanted to have a little more power in the presidential elections. And remember that the states created the United States, the individual states created the states. Um, Okay, Chris. Uh, <laughs> okay. Very cool. Marjorie's the moderator. <laughs> now, there are currently laws pending in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky, Missouri, no, not Missouri, uh, Kansas, Arizona, Nevada, and Michigan. So you only need four more, and then it becomes yeah. the Electoral College right. becomes moot. It depends on the state. You know, it, yeah, it, you right. have to have 270 electoral votes in play. Right now, there are 209. Okay. This is good. This is very good. Does it does it say when they are going to vote on this, whether it's coming up this year or the legislatures are going to take it up this year or when it's not on, not on their website? The National Popular Vote Interstate Compact uh, website does not say what the status is other than there there is pending legislation. What's the website that you're looking at? Uh, well, if you go, if you just do a Google search and say National Popular Vote Interstate Compact, right. it'll probably, one of the sites that has you click on is the Wikipedia page. And the Wikipedia page goes through all okay, the Okay, that's the what I wanted to know. Explanation. Yeah, See, this is something we didn't know really existed yeah. until that's this right. program, and now... Well, some of us well, know. knows it exists. <laughs> right. yeah. And here we are. And here we are. Yeah. So what have we been watching, Marjorie? You mentioned it because I forget a lot of the details. The I Dark have... Matter. Dark Matter, which is a very good show. Very good show. And also Open Range. Yes. Which we watched the whole first year, and then we watched, and we're into the second year now on Prime, which is about a guy who has a big hole on his property. <laughs> that if you fall into it, you go back and forth in time. It's a strange little show. So those are the two. We're watching shows that have to do with time and space, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds like La Brea. Huh? Yeah. The TV show La Brea. Yeah, I couldn't get into that. Uh, oh, I love it. <laughs> well, anytime I, you know, I'm very prejudiced. Anytime I see something's on a network, I just don't want to watch it. I'm the same way. Yeah, I mean, it's prejudice. probably more of a local thing. If you've seen how many big potholes there are on La Brea, you'd understand that people in LA would be interested in that. But probably not the people in New York. <laughs> I think we're talking about two different things. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure about it, but I think we're talking about different. La Brea is about a big hole that opens up in, on the La Brea tar pits, right? It's a different yeah. show than they were talking about, right? Uh, there was an earthquake, wasn't there, on La Brea, and people fell into the tar pit or something like that? What? Yeah, sinkhole. Well, well actually, dinosaurs got stuck in it, but I'm not going to. I, Alex, I promise you, no more Alex was there jokes. <laughs> oh my God. That was a sinkhole. That's why the ground was shaking because the ground was opening up. There was not really. Wow, sinkholes on Los Angeles streets. Who would have thought? Okay. Yeah. Marjorie's falling asleep. We're judging by Marjorie. <laughs> I thought sinkholes only happened in Florida. Going. Yeah. 
So anyway, we, we did a thing from the park yesterday, right? Yeah, I watched it. That yep. was cute. Oh, yeah. I missed that. It was okay. okay. I had to sit down on the grass. And we saw the turtles. I couldn't. I kept leaning back like I was going to fall back. So she had to hold me up. I mean, it was terrible. Were you guys making out on uh -oh. camera? Huh? Were you making out on camera? We kissed. <laughs> we we have to kiss on every episode of this. We're, we're yeah. beyond that point. No, we we still kiss, right? On we kissed yesterday. When? <laughs> <laughs> it was so memorable, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give me a time and about. You know. When? Well, we figure, we figure the most disgusting thing people don't want to watch are two people, old people kissing. Two old, old people like kids. us. So we do it. <laughs> you know. Oh, there's sites for that. Yeah. yeah, go to the internet. You'll I'm find sure. it. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, wait a minute. We're we're losing uh making Edward just Jake. lost Edward. Somebody's at the door. Right He's coming back. He has to answer the door. He has to answer the door. <laughs> uh, but um anyway, so we got a pizza for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> You and Marjorie could get a, a an OnlyFans site for uh, for your kissing esca esca escapades. You can yeah. make some money what, off what, that. What say it? OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Yeah. Make some money off that. Yeah, we can make money off that. We'll, 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 we'll go on OnlyFans and we'll just kiss for about five minutes and say that's it. And people kissing. say disgusting. Get and rid of it. it. Yeah, but if a lot of people watch us, we're going to they'll make, pay. They'll pay to watch this kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There got to be perverts out there who like that sort of thing. No, maybe. Oh, huh? Don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, how much money do you think we could make? I don't know. You should okay. try it and see what make you make. Your a few money. You know, you know, you know what? Uh, uh, I think uh, we should try it. Return, yes. ten, tens of dollars, Marjorie. <laughs> what I'll return to is, I remember a couple of weeks ago, I was talking on the, about on this program about how banks really piss me off because banks just, they have the colossal gall that I had like $40,000 in my savings account and I got 29 cents for the month <laughs> yeah. in interest. And I'm going, are you kidding me? What is, apparently you couldn't find any use for my money, you know? I mean, and I got, and then all of a sudden we got a lot of, uh, nice infusion of money and all it was going to was being in the savings plan in my in my bank and so i asked albert what should i do with it and here's what albert came up with the answer what was your answer albert give it to me what did i say i don't even remember what i said you were talking <laughs> you were you were telling me fidelity, fidelity. yeah did you what have if a, you have all your you deposit all your money into fidelity and I I have an account that's essentially the same as a savings account. I can do the same things with it, and I think I get five percent on on that account. And yeah. why would I put my money in a bank in a regular bank? Right. We just we're just right now at this moment, perhaps unloading. We all just the, did all that. Close all, those accounts. Uh, uh, good for you. Good large amount of our money, and putting it into Fidelity. Exactly, and, and you can reason. even take you can you can easily transfer that money into uh, higher higher um, interest uh, bearing uh, investments. Yeah, that are not very risky, and, and yeah. move back and forth whenever you want. Why yeah. would you go to a bank? Banks are, are crooked. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I never knew about this fidelity. I mean, I've always I've had fidelity because when I had uh, my uh what do you call it? 401k at uh, uh, Sirius XM um at a certain point I saw that the stock was constantly tanking okay so I just wanted to get out of it so we moved it over into a fidelity account but that's an IRA account it's not the regular account you have so now we opened up another account there and all this money is being poured into into fidelity there because you can even, it is even a thing on there where you can pay off your bills with Fidelity. Yes, you can. They have everything. It's like a checking account, Alex. They have, a, they have a credit card account where you get cash back on everything. Don't don't go to banks. They're a ripoff. Yeah. yeah. 
So anyway, I've got a bank's a long time ago. I always went to a credit union. However, you yeah, don't have anything but a bank. Why don't well, you put your money in you Let me ask you this though, with your fidelity. What do you do when you need cash? You get a debit, debit card that's on that account. They 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 have a, a card. You can ask for a card and they will give you a card and you can go to any they have a huge network of, of cash machines that you can go to. I forgot what the name of it is. There are a couple of names, in fact. You mm -hmm. go to those cash machines at the supermarket or wherever it is, and you take your money out there. If you want to deposit a check, you take a picture of it, and they put it in your account, whatever, in a day or the two. The point yeah. is you have access to cash when you want it. Yes, absolutely. Can I ask, what what's the difference between, what, is Fidelity a, a um, what it's is a, it? It's, it's a like brokerage firm. It's like what? Okay. It's an investment firm. Yeah. yeah. But, they, but they have found a way to get around everything so that you can use their services in the same ways as checking and savings. In fact, I get checks from Fidelity for nothing. Wow. Actually, so, you write checks on it? Yeah, yeah, you can write a check if you, but I never use checks because I can go right online and, and send somebody money immediately from Fidelity. Exactly. Something you can't do with them is, is like the Zelle thing where you mm -hmm. pick it with the phone, that's the only thing they don't have at this point. And it's on yeah. It would seem fairly easy for them to put that on though. They're, they're on uh, there's, some, online. there's something in the in the uh the transaction the regulations. they can't yeah, regulations in the transaction that they can't do that now, but I'm sure they're working on it. Oh yeah. But all Zell is is a form of you being able to take money and send it to somebody else. Somebody else, yeah. Oh, you Zell's can do great. That. Gazelle's a terrific thing, but like that what the hell? Well. I mean, I'd be willing to, you know, I, 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 <laughs> certainly is a great alternative to banks because I've been, I, you know, the only reason I'm have a bank at all is because that's, I, that's what I had, you know, and I didn't think that I could go open up a Fidelity account with all the money I had in, in my uh, bank account and do the same things with it. See, I am your best friend, aren't I? See, yeah, yeah. see, you're my best friend. That's it. Yes, which means you're going to die pretty soon now. Oh, I'm breaking that spell. <laughs> yeah, you're breaking that spell. Good for you. Yeah. I'm like Jason. I keep most of mine in a, a credit union. In a, in a credit yeah, union. I've heard that's yeah. another place to put money. Yeah, because it was crazy when all the banks were collapsing. No credit unions were. <laughs> I, I, keep my money in, I keep mine well, my, in infidelity. My question is to both <laughs> uh, to both Vernon and, and Jason is when you have your money in a credit union, you can still do all the same things you would do with a bank, right? Yep. yep. No difference. Just a different insurer. And yeah. do they give you interest on your money? Yeah. What kind of interest? Not crap. Better than a bank. Yeah. <laughs> well, certainly not 27 cents. Oh, better than a bank. Look, so I have one account that I have about like 20 grand in, just a regular savings account. Last year, I probably made seven, eight dollars on it. I took 4,000 bucks for my kid, threw it into a CD. I'm making 20 bucks every month off of it. Yeah. Wow. Well, you guys are certainly good with money. I should have come to you years ago. <laughs> yeah. ask Albert. I'm surprised Albert has been holding out on you. But nobody asked. I didn't know he had his money <laughs> dwindling away in a shitty bank. I didn't know. Well, my business manager recently turned us on to a guy who's now handling all our money in this in this respect. Okay. Gary's still doing a lot of stuff for us. but uh, And the reason why is that uh, he doesn't handle people that don't have a certain amount of money. And we got that certain amount of money. So now we're using this guy to handle our money for us and he's he's a, he is it's not he's not affiliated with fidelity he is part of fidelity hmm. it was described to me as if fidelity is an apartment house he has a room there and so what does that mean all the money out of there they're going to put it into certificates of deposit and you know of, uh, I think that, uh, bonds, government bonds is still a good place to put your money because after three years, it's worth a lot more than it would be in just about any other place you would put it. You, you know? think? And it's not risky. 
you know, fidelity is always risky because the market goes up and the market goes down and you could lose some money. Did you lose money when they had that big fall in the market, uh, Albert? In 2008? Yeah. No, I didn't lose any money because you don't make or lose money until you sell. So I didn't lose any money, no. So you didn't sell, so it went right back up again. Because yeah. last week, we hit the highest Dow in the history of the Dow. Yeah. And of course, Trump taking credit for it. Yeah. Huh? I said Trump takes credit for that. He does? Yeah. How does he take credit for it? Because he can. Because he can. He's, he's because the guy who's running the Fed was a Trump appointee. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, thank you, Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he claims that he's he's done more for the blacks in this country than any other president, save Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and yet everybody he's appointed to the bench have been white people. Yeah. yeah. If he says it, it must be true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> he, uh, he takes credit for everything, doesn't he? Well, he says he's a scratch golfer, too, and he's won 29 championships. Oh, yeah. 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 For yeah. all his courses, though. But he cheats. Exactly. He does. Was the one he came in like 60 some place and he was saying, that was a heck of a game. It was like 60 some out of 70 people. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And uh, let's ask Charlotte uh, how she's doing. I'm doing well. Doing yeah. well. Yeah. Life interesting out there. In, you're in California, too. Yeah. Yeah, we just moved from Castro Valley. We're in Dublin now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over the weekend we went and visited the grandkids. So yeah. other than that, everything's going well. Is it true that Castro Valley was named affectionately after the Cuban dictator? Or is that my mistake? Hardly, no. no. Maybe actually, at, this actually, point, at this point it could be. Actually, in San Francisco, they had... Um, they had um, um, a bunch of streets. Uh, there was Castro Street. All the streets were named, by the way, before Fidel Castro. And they had a uh, Noriega Street. Nor right. And I called it the, the Avenues of the Dictators. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there was one other besides Noriega. I'm trying to remember who now. Oh, yeah, Trump. Duarte. Duarte, we have a whole town down here named after, named affectionately after Salvadoran dictator Jose Napoleon Duarte. The city is called Duarte. It's, and it's named after the dictator. I, I think so. I have to double check that. See, I don't trust you. I, I, <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. So, you know. That's okay. Trust is earned over time. I don't even trust Marjorie, and she sleeps next to me. <laughs> hmm? She goes to bed three hours every night before I do. Wow. I if I, I have to go to bed at two so that I'm set up so that I can stay up till midnight to do the, the show on the week on weekdays. She still stays up later than I can. And so she goes to bed three hours earlier than I do, sometimes four hours earlier than I do. And then I wake up, and she's still there snoring away. <laughs> you're, 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 no, you're muted, Mark. She doesn't snore. I, I take that back. She, um, she is like, she's in the arms of Morpheus. Is that a nice way of putting it, Marjorie? I'm just saying, look who's talking. But when you say Morpheus, do you mean that African American gentleman? No. In the in the the Morpheus, you know the character from the from the movie with the Keanu Reeves. You know. Oh, that okay. wasn't Morph. Was that Morpheus? Yeah, that was the name. Yes, of the character. his name was the Morpheus. Matrix. And he was a the Matrix. Yeah, well, the arms of Morpheus is a term that was used for years when I was a child back in the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> uh, right that's when everybody spoke greek and they knew the word morpheus that's right <laughs> by the way those kids in greece are really smart i've met up with uh, like children who were four years old who spoke, spoke perfect greek yeah yeah 
Can't there was a time when that was required in college. Yeah. You would have Alex would have learned that in college had he attended in that era. Yeah. The classics. You notice how he moves his face into the picture when he's talking. <laughs> No, I'm like driving and video chatting. <laughs> no, I was, uh, I was, I was thinking, I was thinking about you the other day, Albert, because I was, I was meditating on my producers I've had over the years, and I decided you were the best one ever. I've heard it. Hmm. I've heard it. From other people. Thank you. Yeah, just for yeah, from just about all except for one guy. Except for one guy. What guy? Can you say who that guy was? No, I won't say it. But, but Paul, I will say he was a dick. That I will say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for that. <laughs> well, now we really want to know who that was. There is a distinction between a dick and a pussy. The, the pussy is kind of a, a, a person who just wimpy. doesn't have it. Enough, yeah, a wimpy person. And a dick is just an asshole. Which is and, kind and of we're not thing. We're not referring to a body part on a woman. We're referring to a kitty cat. Yeah. Okay. Say anytime I say anything like that, my wife is like, "Yeah, well, a pussy can take a lot more of a beating than a dick can." <laughs> <laughs> but, but can it? Can it really? Yeah, I don't know about I'm that. Glad we're, we're raising the timber of this conversation. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I've beat that thing like it owes me money. You're complaining about me talking about electric cars, man. So let's get back to our discussion about electric uh, cars. Um, we talk about hydrogen cars and still make electric <laughs> ones. What did you say, Andrew? I said that the, the whole talk about electric cars disappears when you start looking at hydrogen. So everyone who bought an electric car is going to go, what the hell did I buy that for? Where it go? Well, hydrogen, well, Tesla is going into making hydrogen cars. I don't think it's going to happen. Why, there why it did, because I had a work truck that was a natural gas truck. It's basically the exact same concept and everything. You have to pressurize that crap so much. The infrastructure breaks down all the time. It's a million dollars per pump. Yeah, I just I drove, I a, I I drove a, a, a car that ran on natural gas when I lived in Brazil for two years and never never went to the shop once. No, my, my vehicle never different. did. I had I a car that worked on natural gas, time. but I had to fart in the gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that, that funnel so was uncomfortable as hell, wasn't it? Now, why so, haven't we done that? See, we what is a natural gas? Natural gas, a good example of natural gas, is methane. Am I right or am I wrong? Yes. And what is the largest thing that produces methane anyway? Cows. 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 So right. why don't we turn right -wing cow radio waste houses. and the earth, waste. the earth itself, in New York City? Why do we, do we we flush power down the drain? Yeah, yeah. there yeah. actually is a system that they can set up in like third world countries where it purifies water using their waste product to energize it. So it's a zero zero energy production for clean water. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, but is we that... do actually. There are sites where they have like uh, racks that the cows will walk on. And their shit goes through, and it does get cleaned up and put into and made into energy using the methane. They do it with garbage dumps too. Yeah, well, all I'm less. saying is that methane is a is a very good um, a power source, and we don't use it. We just flush it down the drain every day. Just so very <laughs> easy to get into the atmosphere and ruin the ozone layer too, though. Of course, the highways would smell. That's terrible. over. But, hey, um, so let me ask you something. So somebody said, okay, the test the. All the video footage of Tesla's catching on thousand degree fires that the firemen could can't put out. Let's put the fuel in them that that burned the Hindenburg for Christ's sakes. You know, I'm yeah. holding out for a car. Let me work on that joke. Wait a minute, that, that joke. wasn't wasn't the Hindenburg helium? No, it was yeah. hydrogen. no, the Hindenburg was hydrogen. 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 That's, hydrogen. The whole, that's the reason it that's went why up. We only it's all and boom. It's so the there's, cover there's of Led a... Zeppelin too, dude. I'm you a little confused. People, there's a difference many, between you've seen holding... the blowing up. You've seen oh. the blowing up of the of the uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Hindenburg. Hindenburg. How many people do you think died in that? Not a dozen. It was, it was twenty yeah. or thirty, I think. Yeah, twenty. Yeah. I think it's something like eleven. It's really yeah. cool because they yeah. it landed and then people just ran out of the flames and everything like that and got away from it. There's mm -hmm. a difference between storing. So, that, a, so that's a, a positive a, point in favor of hydrogen as fuel, then. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Not yes. as many people many. died as expected. So, so, so if I've got a, a plastic bag filled with hydrogen and I'm comparing it to a properly manufactured line storage tank, it's the same argument. 
Is that yeah, how right. it works? <laughs> I'm holding out for a car that runs on water. It was about the humanity, too, though. Do you know what one of the first cars was, though? That was electric. Stanley Steamer. The Stanley Steamer. Uh, and uh, uh, it, but for some reason, it never became popular. But all you did was fill your tank with water. What it was in the front was a boiler. But you had, yeah. to, but you had to drag a trailer to burn the mm -hmm. fire. While you're driving, you're shoveling coal in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jay Leno has some of those super early electric cars. He puts car batteries in them, and he showed up. I was at a party with Elon Musk when they released the Tesla sedans. And Jay Leno showed up in like a 1918 car that was all electric and he drove it all the way down several freeways to get there, as a matter of fact. So the fact is, Alex, you are right. Some of the earliest automobiles ever were electric because nobody knew what was going to be they the right also, They were also and Alex, Alex does not. And I'm not trying to imply that Alex knows because oh, he no. was there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, so I even that. saw one. It was where they would take a cherry picker, pull all the batteries out set them down so they can charge them, pick a fresh pile of batteries up in the cherry printer, put it in your vehicle. Yeah, said, yeah that was the Tesla them. Sport model. It didn't go very well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, hey, I listen, we have run out of time here. Ooh. It's been another pleasurable uh, afternoon with uh, 12 people this time, as opposed to the 18 we had last week, which was, a, I think, was an all-time record for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I do thank you, Charlotte, for being here with us. We really, Charlene, rather. Uh, why did I call you Charlotte? I don't know. People have always, my whole life, called me the wrong name. So that's okay. No, Charlene, I'm sorry. I really. <laughs> that's okay. I'm just old and I forget no. names. And I'm like uh, talking. Uh, thank you, Ren, for being here today. <laughs> we appreciate it. Len, always a pleasure to have you here. And you're always watching our uh, our little things out in the out in the wilds as well. So I, you're you're just yeah. always available uh, to us. Thank you, uh, thank you to Andrew Deutsch. Always a pleasure because you're so damn funny. I can't stand it uh, because not the it, usual reason why people can't stand me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marjorie, thank you for being here. What are you Ooh. eating? It's dinner. It dinner's in an hour. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm eating chocolate covered almonds. Ooh. Oh boy, uh, uh, Paula Levin, thank you so much, darling. Great having you here. Uh, as 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 I do, I feel about Charlie Wallace and Vernon Nunn in Kentucky and Albert in Florida, and Chris Cat down there living with the Kardashians and uh, Jason. Oh wow, this has been a pleasure having you here, Jason. So everybody. Just be, give a big wave goodbye, and we will go to Edward Berger, who signs us off by saying, That's all, folks. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> See you all See later. Ya.